Welcome back everybody. I was just previously, right before I'm filming this video, I was going to film a video on how to safely replace the balance port on your LiPo connectors if you have a few of them like I do that have been whacked by your propellers or uh, broken for whatever reason that they're broken or maybe you just want to extend it a little bit which I kind of like to do anyway which I'm going to do while I'm repairing them but the subject of this is while I was filming that video I realized that I had a misconception about how these balance ports work and if I had that misconception maybe you do and hopefully you'll get something useful out of this so here's what I'm talking about these balance ports where's my pointer these balance ports have in this case it's a 4S. There's four cells within this battery that are connected together in series uh, and same thing with this. So when you put them in series you get the total voltage of all the four cells out on your on your main output which usually connects to an XT60. Uh, the, the same is not true on the balance ports here. We have a balance port so that we have access to each cell individually. That's why there are four wires plus a common. I did that backwards, which is why I'm make making this video. There's a common wire and then there's four pins that are access to the individual cells. This allows us to tap voltage off of different parts of the battery, but most useful for this is that we can balance, that's why it's called balance port, we can charge each individual cell individually to get them to a target voltage that matches all of the other cells. We can also discharge them to make that happen. If one cell is a little more than the other we can put resistance on that, uh, essentially load it to bring it down to the voltage that matches all of the other ones. So that's the whole purpose behind this. It's a little unfortunate in this hobby that we have this thing dangling off of here because they do, in my case anyway, they do tend to get beaten up a little bit by props and crashes, that kind of thing. Which is why I was going to film a video on repairing that. But, back, but back, back to what we're talking about here, I realized when I started doing this that I had some miscocep a misconception about what the order and the purpose of each wire is here specifically. So I built this little breakout cable. Now I don't recommend you make one of these. This is probably a dangerous thing to have laying around because if you plug it into your balance port there's a potential for it, uh, sh the wire shorting to each other and if that happens you're gonna have a bad time. So when I built this breakout I kinda staggered the wires so that it's less likely for them to come in contact with each other and really the purpose is only to demonstrate this for you so after I'm done with this I'll probably throw it away so I have my trusty old triplet meter it's just an old triplet meter that's been kicking around in my toolbox and uh, recently I broke the little lead on the, the pointy part of the the probe so I have it cinched down now I've connected the negative wire and maybe it seems counterintuitive to you that there's four wires marked in one color and one that's marked in a different color and it turns out that this is not the ground and there's four positives this is the ground and then these are the four positives and it finally occurred to me why that would be and some manufacturers of these uh, have different colors on here. This kind of actually makes a little bit more sense. This is the ground wire, cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4. Also coincidentally, uh, you'll, you would get a between the ground and this you would get a total the, the total voltage across the battery just as you would with with the XT60 main output connector. So the ground pin is connected directly to the negative portion of your main output. The red one here, the furthest one out is connected directly to the main output positive. So I'll cross all the cells and then 
these tap in individual individually to the other cells. Uh, well, man, I hope this is making sense. So just to prove my theory and see if my thinking is right. Actually, I've tested this. And I know it's right. So the negative is here going to the first pin here, the first black one. The next one, we should see the voltage across one battery cell. So three point whatever. This battery is in storage mode, so whatever that comes out to. So I'm going to show you here, 3.81. So that's the voltage on one cell. This next wire is the second, uh, correction, the third black wire in the XT or in the balance port. We should see the voltage between negative and here. We should see an uh, accumulation of two cells, so six, seven point whatever, seven point six three we have. This pin here, yep, add another three point eight to it, and we'll get eleven point something, eleven point four four in this case. And then if we go to this red wire. 15.26 so that's so that's a total of all the four cells together and that would match if I was to just plug into the positive on the XT60 it should match which it does and coincidentally we could also connect the negative here say to here and get the voltage across one cell there 3.8 something here we could get two we should get 11 point something here if we do it that way so the point here is that it was a little bit counterintuitive to me as somebody that has a little bit of electrical engineering background to have one wire that was one color and four wires that were a similar color to themselves representing it would be, I guess what I'm saying is it would be easy to think that this is the ground and then these are four different positives because that usually electricians think in terms or and electrical engineers think in terms of a common wire like a ground and then everything else being said but that's just not the case here so anyway I hope this was helpful to you I rambled a little bit I, I apologize I'm going to go ahead and close out this video so that I can film the video on how to safely replace your balance connectors. So if this is useful to you, please consider subscribing. And uh, you can get updates on all of the shenanigans on this channel. I'll talk to you next time. Have a good day.